What's up, everybody? My name is Matt Modai. I'm a content producer and betting analyst for Achian. And for this video, I'm going to be going over all of the different calculators that are on the Achian website. That is, um, they're all pretty important, some more important than others, and how to be a profitable sports better. And in general, just to learn about different sports betting concepts. Um, so the nice thing about having these calculators on the website means you don't have to calculate any of them yourself. So uh, you don't need to go in, see what positive expected value percentage is, or see what the Kelly calculator, how much money you should put on something is. The OddsJam calculators do all that for you. And all of these calculators you see are all completely free to use. So if you just go to oddsjam.com, this is my current homepage. Um, even if you don't have an account, you can use the websites, or using use the website's calculators, I should say. Um, one thing I would recommend if you're not signed up, you're not on the email list or anything, is just um, enter in your email address because what happens is you'll get sent three positive expected value bets a day. Um, and what, what we recommend doing is locking in those bets, adding them to the OddsJam bet tracker, which is just, a uh, com again, completely free. The calculators are free. The bet tracker is free as well. So if you add all those bets to the bet tracker, you'll see your profit slowly start to increase. You'll see the profits compound on each other. Um, and that's just a good way to get started if you don't want to, you know, put down a credit card or you don't quite want to commit to a seven day free trial. You can just get added to the email list. It's nice and easy. You just get sent, like I said, three free positive expected value bets a day. I also recommend you uh, like the video, comment your feedback, just so I kind of know how to tailor these moving forward. And then also if you could subscribe to the IGM YouTube channel. Um, even if, like I said, you're not a member of uh, the YouTube channel, we have a ton of helpful, um, just a, we get we give out picks. So uh, for those of you who who want some profitable picks that we that we find using the IGM software, you can get that from the YouTube channel. Uh, you can also just get general betting advice, betting education type stuff as well, kind of like this one. So I recommend doing that. Another thing that I think would be helpful, um, and I'll post a link in the uh, description of the video for this. Just invest in your betting education. Uh, we have a ton of betting education content you see here. Sports betting 101 how to bet on sports, betting education, all that good stuff. Um, any type of sports betting concept that you want to learn more about or you want to dig into, you're going to see on the betting education page. So I would recommend checking that out as well. But for this video, like I said, I'm going to be going over all of the different calculators. Um, these are all important concepts, important concepts, like I said, some more important than others, but it's important to understand how to use all these calculators. So let's get into it. And I'll first start off with the positive expected value calculator. So the uh, positive expected value calculator, uh, basically what it does, it, it determines what your profit margin is going to be for a specific bet over the sports book that you bet it on for that specific wager. So it's gonna be for one bet only, uh, what your expected value is for that bet. Um, the way it's calculated, it uses three components. Number one, the wager in which you're betting it on, uh, how much money you're putting on it. That one's pretty easy. The odds are the odds you're betting it on on that specific sports book. So if you're betting something, let's say, minus 110 odds on DraftKings Sportsbook, that's what you would put there. And the win probability, that's gonna be based on what you're using to determine the bet to actually have positive expected value. So either if you have your own sports betting model that you use, that gives something a percent chance of hitting, or you just take the no vig fair odds from, from the Oddsjam Perfect Line, which is the sharpest sports book in the world. Uh, once you have those three components, it'll spit out an actual number for expected value for that bet. Um, the important thing to understand regarding that is it's not telling you how much money that you are going to make on this one bet. It's telling you how much money you can expect to make if you make this bet 100,000 times. You know, we lived in a simulation. The game, whatever you're betting on, is played 100,000 times. You'll average out to making whatever the expected value number spits out. And that's how that works. So I want to understand it's not saying, oh, if you place this bet, you're guaranteed to make this amount of money. No, you're guaranteed over time to profit whatever certain amount this number spits out. But for one specific bet, it's going to be a little bit different. So it's pretty easy to actually use. So let's say I'm placing a $100 bet, right? I'm placing it at minus 110 odds, which is the most common odds out there. And let's say that based on the sports betting model that I used, um, I have a sports betting football model that I use using Excel. Let's say it gives it a 55% chance of hitting. If I place this $100 bet, I would expect to make $5. Um, and that's pretty easy regarding the expected value. So the thing to understand, uh, if you really want the formula for 
pot for the expected value. Um, it's here in the OddsJam website, which again is completely free to use, but expected value equals the fair win probability. So in that case, it's based on your model or the no big odds. It's the probability in which your bet is gonna win multiplied by your profit. So if I'm placing a $100 bet, my profit on minus one ten dollars will be $90. So this one would be 55% multiplied by 90. You subtract that by the probability it loses, in this case was 45% multiplied by how much you're risking, the stake equals 100. So like I said, luckily, you don't need to understand how the, uh, you don't need to actually calculate it yourself, but I do think it's important to understand how it works. And this is the expected value calculator. So like I said, the three main components you need, how much you're betting, the wager, the odds in which you're betting it on, and the win probability, which again, based on a model that you use or based on the no big fair odds of a sharp sports book like the Ashton Perfect Line, or if there's another sports book that you use to calculate sharp lines, you'd get to win the win probability from that as well. So this free bet converter calculator is the next one I'm gonna talk about. This one is incredibly important. Um, it's important for a lot of sports bettors if they're new and they haven't uh, utilized all the different sign-up bonuses for their state. Um, so one thing I want you to do is I want you to look at the description of the video and you'll see a bunch of different sports books and then you'll see whatever the sign up bonus is and you'll see a link, right? So if there's a sports book that is legal in your state that you are not signed up with, I would recommend signing up using that link and you can use the concept displayed in this specific part of this video to convert those free bets into cash. So the way it works is that a lot of times sports books will offer a free bet if you sign up um, using their sports book using a sign up code. A lot of times it'll be 500, it'll be 1,000, 1,500, whatever the amount is, um, it'll give you a free bet. So let's say uh, you use that free bet and you have a $500 free bet that you can use. Let's pretend it's on FanDuel Sportsbook. So you can, you have $500 if the bet hits, you get the profit if it loses, there's no risk. So the important thing to understand here and the main difference with a free bet and with just a normal bet you're, you're placing is if so if your free bet hits you only get the profit associated with it so a lot of times if you go to FanDuel and place a $500 bet and your bet wins you'll get the $500 that you risked and then you'll get whatever your profit is in this case you're only getting the profit uh, that's one thing that's really important to understand so let's say that the free play line you're getting it at on uh, FanDuel is plus 110. So let's say you're hedging this on another sports book and you can hedge it at, let's say, the same odds, plus 110, it's a it's a 0% ARB. The way that works, um, the output that uh, this calculator gives you is how much that you should bet on whatever that hedge bet is. So in this case, let's pretend bet MGM, you can get the same exact play for plus 110 odds. What you're gonna wanna do is hedge that bet for $260. Uh, one thing we recommend is rounding up or down. Uh, placing bets to the exact sense is a little risky, so we don't recommend doing that. So round it up or down, so it'll tell you how much to bet on that sports book. It'll tell you what the amount of profit you're gonna get on that sports book is, and it's also gonna tell you the profit percentage. So these are concepts that are really important. It's really easy to understand, but it's also really important to understand it as well. It's easy to use important to understand. Uh, you, all the three components you need to use the free bet converter is the amount of just the free bet that you have, the line on that sports book where you're placing the free bet, and then the line of whatever you're hedging it at. Once you have those three things, you can use the free, the free bet conversion calculator, and it'll give you all of this important information so that way you can convert those free bets into cash. So the next uh, calculator that I wanna talk about is the Kelly Criterion Calculator. Uh, this one is incredibly important because it tells you exactly how much money that you should put on a specific bet. Um, so it doesn't matter what your bankroll is, it doesn't matter any of that stuff, it tells you of what fraction of the percent of your bankroll that you should wager. It uses three numbers to calculate this. Now what it does is the Kelly multiplier. So this is probably the most uh, confusing concept of it, so I will save that one for last. But what it does is it uses the odds that you are betting it on, and it uses the win percentage of the bet as well. So the odds are just gonna be the odds you're betting it on. The win percentage, similar to the expected value calculator, is gonna be either based on the um, no big fair odds of a sharp sports book such, such as the Ice Champ Perfect Line, 
or it's going to be based off if you have a sports betting model that gives you that spits out a win percentage it's going to be based on either of those things either of those things the important thing just to make the distinction of is the odds are what you're betting it on the win percentage is based on whatever method that you have to calculate that um, so once you have those two things it spits out a percentage uh, the kelly multiplier uh, basically what it does is it tells you whether you should uh, cut that percentage it initially spits out in half or by a third uh, the general rule the general rule of thumb is to set your kelly multiplier at 0.33 the reason for this is because it's never advisable to bet more than five percent of your bankroll and sometimes the kelly criterion method will tell you to bet 10 percent 15 percent depending on the difference between the odds and the win percentage so one way to combat that and make sure that you are betting responsibly is setting your multiplier at 0.33 that's what i have mine at personally so if i just go to a positive ev page click the calculator, you'll see it's set at 0.33. So it's telling me this specific bet to bet 1.5% on. Um, and like I said, the way it works, so let's pretend, let's just go to a random game, right? Let's go to caesars.com, one of the sports books that we use, um, sports books, Caesars. And let's just find a random play. So I wanna bet the NBA tonight. I wanna bet the heat minus seven and a half. Let's like I'm betting that on Caesars at minus 110 odds. So I'm gonna type in minus 110 here. Now let's say that I use the Oshjam perfect line, or again, I use in my model. Unfortunately, I'm still working on one for the NBA. I have an NFL one set up, but let's pretend that I have a model that gives us a 60% chance of hitting. This will tell me to bet 5.28% of my bankroll. In this case, I'll just round it down to 5%. So it's nice because doesn't matter what your bankroll is. It could be for a novice sports better that only has a $500 bankroll, or it could be from you know a sharp expert sports better that has a $100,000 bankroll. No matter what, all you need to do is find out what the percent is, and then you can use that to find out the actual dollar amount you should put on. So for no, another example, let's say that I want to bet, let's say I'm looking at a player prop, and I want to bet um, D'Angelo Russell to go on over three and a half rebounds. So the odds I'm betting it on, look, betting it on looks like are plus 130, plus 130. And let's say that my model gives this bet a 45% chance of hitting. Looks like this one, I shouldn't put as much money on this one. I should only put roughly 1% of my bank girl on this one. So the Kelly Criterion method is just a really helpful way to understand exactly how much money you should be betting on a specific bet. So the Novig fair odds calculator, I've hinted towards this a couple times now. Um, this is where you can find the true line of a bet. So if you're ever curious how we can find out like the win percentage of something using the Novig fair odds, this is exactly how we do it. So if you're unfamiliar with how, what a big is or juice, the way uh, sports books make their money is they charge essentially what is we consider a tax on the odds themselves. So what they don't do they don't charge a transaction fee. So if you wanna place a bet on, on, uh, on FanDuel, if you wanna place a bet on DraftKings, they don't charge you for the actual placing of the bet itself. What they do is just juice up the odds a little bit. So when they accept thousands and thousands of bet on a specific market, no matter what happens, they make their money. So that's how you see all these sports books have huge um, budget for all these marketing ads. It's because they make their money betting on, it's because they make their money juicing up the odds. So the way that you need to uh, remove the VIG and find the no VIG odds, uh, what we wanna do is let's just use the Odds Jam Perfect Line, for example, which is the sharpest sports book in the world. So let's go back to that Heat Hawks NBA game. And let's find out what the uh, Odds Jam Perfect Line deems to be the true line for the money line of this game. So right now we see that the Miami Heat are priced at minus 308. The Hawks are priced at plus 264. Let's find out what the true line is. So it was minus, minus 308, and it was plus 264. Puts the true line of this bet at minus 274 and plus 274. So now we know uh, the no VIG odds. So what I could do is use these odds on the odds converter calculator, which is the next one I want to talk about to find the probability percent. So let's say I wanna find out, again, it was plus 264, minus 308, sorry, minus 308, which puts the true odds of this at minus, let's call it minus 275. So let's say I wanna find out what the percent chance of the Miami Heat winning based on the odds jam perfect line, no big odds. So I'll type in 
the uh, American odds minus 275. So that gives the odds champ perfect line, gives the Heat a 73% chance of winning. So these two calculators used in conjunction are probably the two most important calculators we have because it gives you the probability percent that you can use for the free bet, or excuse me, you can use for the Kelly ca calculator and that use, you can use for the expected value calculator. Um, another thing that I like about this calculator is I can just type in a percentage and see what odds those equate to. So 60% chance equals minus 150. 55% chance equals roughly minus 122. So one thing that's really interesting that might just be interesting for a nerd like me is that whenever sports books, whenever they price odds on something, basically all they're doing is they're giving it a percent chance of winning. So the way the odds champ perfect line, they price the Miami Heat money line, they give them roughly, it was what, a 75% chance of winning. And I can find out exactly what that is. So maybe it was closer to 70. Either way, uh, it's really just interesting to see how sports books, especially sharp ones out there, like the odds jam perfect line, how they deem stuff, equate them to a percentage to give outcomes a percent chance of occurring. So the next one to talk about is the VIG percent. I'll save the parlay calculator here for last because we were just talking about VIG. Um, so we know how to remove the VIG and find the true odds. Uh, what is also important to understand is what the VIG percentage is. So if you're finding a positive expected value play on a lower percentage, a lower VIG percentage, that's more valuable than one that is higher. So if we type in the Miami Heat money line, again, it was plus 264 and it was minus 308. That puts a big percentage of about 2.96%. And that's pretty standard for a money line bet. Uh, if you want to calculate the big percentage for standard minus 110 each way, which is what you see a ton, 4.76%. So obviously we see that the money line odds are just a little bit higher, or excuse me, um, are a little bit lower than the spread odds. Same thing with a normal total. But in general, like I said, understanding the VIG percentage is important because if you're finding a positive expected value bet on a lower VIG percentage, that's more valuable than a VIG percentage that's a little bit higher. And last up, the parlay calculator. This one's the easiest one to understand. Um, you know, everybody loves betting parlays. Ajim has a parlay calculator. So if you don't want to just like type in a bunch of different iterations on the sports book, you just want to find out what the odds are and then place it yourself uh, without clicking a bunch of times, you can do that here. So. I always put, let's say I, at the most, I put 10 on a parlay. Sometimes I like parlaying my favorite spread bets and totals bets. So just minus 110 each way, minus 110. So if I do a three leg parlay, minus 110, that puts the odds of about right around plus 600. If I add another one, it goes up exponentially. So that's one thing to understand with, with parlay odds is they increase exponentially based on the number of legs. And they also increase exponentially based on the odds. So it's instead of minus 110, let's say this was plus 110, it goes all the way up to plus 1300 from plus 1200. Let's say I increase another one to plus 110, all the way up at plus 1500. So um, it's important, like I said, just if you don't want to go through the sports book and keep clicking stuff, you just want to type in the odds and then place it at the very end. Ajem has a parlay calculator that'll do that for you. Um, and that's all I got for you. So let me know if you enjoyed the video. Again, we appreciate a comment uh, letting me know your feedback. Would also appreciate if you could click that plus button. But that is all I got for you. So thanks for watching and have a good one.